So critical illness, this is one of my favorite things that I have the opportunity to offer you. Now, why you might ask? Well, because it has a couple different options that are really important. So let's start with the obvious. Why would you need critical illness? Well, the reality is one in three people are getting di being diagnosed with cancer every day. So I want you to think about if you were diagnosed with cancer, would you keep going to work? Would you, you know, go to chemotherapy, be completely weak and feel nauseous, and then get on your suit and tie and, and wander away to work? Maybe, I doubt it. What's more likely to happen is that you're gonna need to take some time off. You might need to get treated. Now you might want think, okay, well I'll just, you know, suffer through the healthcare system and you know, I'll just get treated when I can. But when you're dealing with cancer, when you're dealing with a heart attack, sometimes you don't have that luxury of time. Maybe it's something that needs to be acted on. So you might want to have the flexibility to go to the States and get treated at the Mayo Clinic in Minneapolis. That might cost you a pretty penny. So wouldn't you rather, rather than say, okay, I have to take some time off work, I now have to shell into my savings and, and find a way to, to pay for this treatment, or wouldn't you rather have a lump sum payment that paid is paid directly out to you on diagnosis that is going to cover those things. Things, if I'll put it this way, say you were diagnosed with cancer, and I said to you, I'm going to issue a check for fifty thousand dollars. Do you think that you would be able to actually get better and approach your recovery with, you know, enthusiasm and, and dedicate that energy where I need because you wouldn't need to worry about your finances? Hopefully, probably. And that's the great thing about critical illness. It's there to protect you. The way critical illness works is that you pay a monthly premium, as usual, as usual with an insurance policy. But upon diagnosis, you're going to get a check for a lump sum payment, however much you, you choose is in your insurance policy. So you might go with $25,000, you might go with fifty, dollars or maybe you say, you know what, my lifestyle is going to be severely impacted if I don't get a huge critical illness policy, I want $100,000 lump sum payment. The premium is obviously going to reflect that, but you have that flexibility. Now, a normal critical illness policy only covers about three or four diseases, stroke, heart attack, cancer. However, there is options that you can put on a critical illness policy that is going to cover you against a whole wide range of diseases, up to 31 potentially, things like Alzheimer's, where you could get that lump sum payout on the on diagnosis of your poly, uh, on diagnosis of your condition, simply by having that policy in place. Now, something else that you can do, and this is where a critical illness policy really comes into play, you can also set it up so that you you get your premiums returned to you if you haven't used that on term on time of death. So for example, say you were to die, policy, that money is going to be paid out you can, to your beneficiaries. You can also set it up, and here's where it really gets cool, is you can even set it up so that you get paid back at 65 if you have yet to use that, that policy. You can actually get your premiums returned to you. So think about this for a second. If I told you, okay, I'm going to get put your money in a savings account, and every day you could withdraw, you could, you can't withdraw from it, but it's just gonna keep building and building and building. And if something happens, it's gonna, it's gonna cover you. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna give you that money back when you turn 65. Wouldn't that sound attractive to you? You're not only saving, you know, jump starting your retirement, but more importantly, you're protecting yourself against something that is happening to one in three people. So, that's the great thing about critical illness. It's not just an insurance policy. It's a way to save. It's a way to plan for your retirement. There's all sorts of different possibilities with a critical illness policy. One thing else about, oh, another thing about critical illness that's really important is economically, it's not that expensive. It is something that is quite viable. You could do it for a low amount. My critical illness policy is for $25,000 and I'm paying, I think, about $18 to $20 a month. Not bad, right? So if you're ready to start thinking about your critical illness needs, I want you to give me a call, 204-955-2879, or send me an email, echo at echomalcolm.com. I can't wait to hear from you, because together we can make sure that you are protected against what might happen.
Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.